Hey guys, so it's time to do a video here. I want to do a video with the Note Edge on Android. If I would do a lollipop here, as we can see. And uh, I also have some other devices here, like the Nexus 6, uh, with the new Gmod 12. And then I also do have the, um, uh, what is it called? The, um, the, uh, the Mate 7 the Ascent Mate 7, which is a very, very cool device, very, very big, pretty cool UI as well. Uh, and then I do have the iPhone 6 Plus here on iOS 8.3. So you just wanna pop up uh, uh, Enter 2 and uh, check it out, benchmark scores here. And as you can see, this is the only app that I have running. Great. So as we can also see here, 8.3 and uh, some other interesting specs here. We ha here I have a, another Mali GPU. These are pretty familiar, but this one is Android 5.0. So um, Snapdragon 805 here, high silicon Nikiri 925 here, Apple A8. So let's just run this over here. This might take a couple of seconds, as it usually does. And my Note 4 is my main smartphone, and I have it right here. Very, very nice device. But uh, I don't have, at the moment, for this one, I don't have Android 5.0, or I do have one, but not the official one with TouchWiz, which is currently rolling out in Poland. So hopefully I can get it soon in a like, firmware that I can download and install on uh, my, my Note 4, because I really, really do enjoy Android 5.0 Lollipop. But the Synergy mod here that I'm running on is uh, not super, super stable but uh, it doesn't have the haptic feedback in a, in a, the capacitive buttons so that's a little bit annoying but hopefully with touch with version it everything's gonna work out so that could be some great stuff we see a snapdragon 805 is the fastest one here the iphone 6 plus is a little bit behind even the high silicon mate 7 This test, of course, tests a bunch of different things, RAM speed, multitasking, CPU, single test, and uh, stuff like that. And Apple is definitely falling a little bit behind, and they're a little bit uh, just playing catch up, it feels like. And that's a little bit boring, so hopefully they can do something in the future come back in the game again, do something exciting. As you can see, extremely identical speeds here on the Note the Edge and uh, on the, the Nexus 6, even though we have Android Open Dual Lollipop. Actually, we do have Android Open Dual Lollipop on both, but of course, different variants. It's the official one on the Note Edge with TouchWiz. Is the Mate 7 now falling behind maybe? Hmm, it looks like so. That's interesting. But of course these are also very very big phones, which is pretty cool. We do enjoy that. Or hopefully we all do. Okay, interesting. So, 
Actually, we get a little bit higher score here. Looks like the Nexus 6 is going to be the winner of them all. 50, 52,085. And then we do get 50,761 uh, on the... Uh, on the note edge so it's a little bit behind there a little bit behind the nexus 6 now let's see what the iphone 6 plus is getting on that on the ios 8.3 uh, beta build first beta wow this one did finish up faster okay interesting wow that's pretty cool the mate 7 also has very very cool internals 44,000. they use a little bit behind the 50,000. Two devices over here. Let's see what the iPhone get. This could be interesting. Hmm. Forty-six thousand four hundred and thirty. So wow, that's pretty impressive. So all of these very very similar actually, but the Nexus Six is going to be the winner. And then we do have the Note Edge coming in. And then actually iPhone 6 Plus. Uh, very, very cool there. A little bit behind the Note Edge and Nexus 6, but not that far. And then just a little bit behind the uh, the A6 Plus, we do get the uh, Asset Mate 7. So very, very cool. All awesome devices. And the great performance overall, of course. So if you wanted to see any specific videos, let me know about that. And I will definitely see what I can uh, do. So... Yeah, have an awesome day. Peace.